in case of agile in case of agile model you need to divide a task into multiple pieces multiple scrums so if you have a complete task if you have a complete task if you have to complete a task here if you have if you have task 1 task 2 task 3 task 5 task 6 task 7 task 8 the combination of these eight tasks is one project the combination of these eight tasks is one project so your project you need to divide into first multiple tasks you need to divide your application into multiple task and for each task you need to provide life cycle model for each task you need to provide life cycle model you can call each task is like one scrum each task would be independent of other tasks yes while doing task division that task should be independent if it have any dependency then we can't able to divide them they need to be independent while dividing into multiple tasks so a project you need to divide into multiple tasks and the task should be independent task so independently you need to start designing of this task and implementation of this task so to develop to to design or to develop this task yes each task you can call like one scrum to development this task we need to use agile model in case of agile model it will start with requirement specification again designing after designing implementation and testing then maintenance so here it will start from again requirement analysis so requirement analysis requirement analysis you need to do here and again you need to do the designing after designing you need to send it for implementation and after implementation you need to send it to testing the next you need to send to maintenance this is actually iteration model why they given this circle model here after completion of one life cycle again you you have to start for one more task here for one task if i use this life cycle for task 1 if i use this life cycle for one more task again i have to do the same life cycle means after once requirement you need to go to the designing after once designing implementation then testing then we have to send the maintenance after completion of it again you have to send it to the next level again one more iteration will start so they'll call this agile model like iteration model so multiple iterations we have to provide so how many iterations we required here we have eight tasks so to complete eight tasks we required eight iterations so eight task iterations we need to provide for eight tasks eight iterations we need to provide for eight tasks eight iterations task 1 iteration again task 2 iteration for each task you need to provide one one iteration for each task task 2 so here also requirement analysis designing implementation test maintenance so in the same way you have to design for your eight tasks so after completion of each task you need to deliver the task to the vendor people so this, yeah vendor people consultant people this consultant people after completion of each task they need to deliver it to the Huh? Yes, they need to integrate. They need to deliver, and they, again they need to integrate. I mean, for doing testing, 
for doing testing for client people also they can send or else after completion of the complete task also they can send so here what they need to do this people vendor people this vendor people they can send to the client people after completion of each task after completion of each task they can send it to the client or else they can complete all the tasks they can complete all the tasks here and they can combine all the tasks together integration they can combine all these tasks together after completion of complete tasks they can combine into one project they can combine all these into one project they can send it to the they can deliver it to the client they can deliver it to the client they need to add all these tasks they need to integrate each task to the next task if they complete task 1 then to the task 1 task 2 they need to add then task 3 task 4 they need to add all these tasks finally they need to deliver to the client people <coughs> so here each life cycle you can call like one scrum so in case of this agile model while doing this task they may take some weeks time so for completing each scrum they can take one week time for completing one scrum for completing one one scrum if it is a simple one we can take one week or we can take two weeks of time or we can take three weeks of time and per day how many hours per day maximum time eight hours they can put and for week how many hours per week five days five into eight hours so per week here developers need to work for 40 hours five days monday to friday so on weekdays they need to work so per day eight hours they need to work so they will design one scrum for either 40 hours either 80 hours or either for 120 hours on hourly basis they will design the scrums that scrums they need to develop i mean by using that scrums they need to complete their tasks so how many scrums they may have it depends on project if the project if it have multiple modules then to complete that module multiple modules we may need we may require multiple scrums so while designing while while designing or while implementing each scrum every day they need to conduct on this one week time or this two weeks time or this three weeks time every day they need to conduct <coughs> scrum meetings they need to conduct sprint meetings sprint meetings or scrum meetings Spr huh? scrum. scrum meetings scrum meetings they, they need to conduct scrum meetings scrum meetings they will conduct per week or per two weeks or per three weeks daily meetings or sprint meetings right daily meetings are okay you can call it as scrum scrum meetings or else sprint meetings they need to conduct every day while doing while starting their work they need to start the they need to discuss the what we have to do for today they need to conduct one meeting and they need to discuss what which task we need to complete for this day so on starting the day while starting while starting the day they need to conduct one meeting about 15 minutes or 20 minutes and at the end of the day again they need to at the end of the day again they need to take some 15 minutes meetings scrum meetings or else sprint meetings they need to conduct meetings so for what to discuss daily tasks to discuss daily tasks they need to conduct some meetings scrum meetings they need to conduct <coughs> so in this way they need to complete the complete task they need to design they need to build each task by using the same manner finally they need to combine all together and they need to deliver it to the client so which model is a recommended model for making applications it is agile. agile model so here if you take one task here if you want to develop a project so which model is better to implement for us agile model so in agile model if i divide a application into multiple tasks each task independently we can develop finally we can combine all these tasks together as a one application 
so for each task what i need to provide for each task i need to do the requirement analysis i need to do the designing implementation testing maintenance everything we have to provide for each module so in agile in agile what we have to do here if i want to use agile for build a project if you want to use agile to build a project agile model is complete iteration model so for each task this one is agile model diagram so here for each task we need to provide one one iteration means here you need to provide one iteration while doing starting one iteration for task one one iteration here this one is first one is requirement analysis next one designing next implementation or coding the next one is testing finally maintenance or deliver then after completion of this after completion of this task again one more again one more analysis designing implementation testing maintenance continuously these iterations should go on same kind of iterations until completing all the tasks so up to how many iterations you have those many iterations for those many iterations you need to complete scrums scrum 1 scrum 2 scrum 3 scrum 4 scrum 5 these all are scrums you need to call each one as one scrum on each scrum what we need to do to build each scrum we need to take some hours of time and in that scrum if you have any doubts you can discuss with scrum manager he can discuss with client and he can get the exact requirements if they if they required any modifications while doing that day task if you if you discuss with client if you required any simple modifications he will tell that modifications that modifications also we can put under that particular scrum so here in this scrum development if they take one week or two weeks or three weeks time here while developing each task on day in a day while developing the task scrum manager scrum manager scrum manager he can discuss with ba people or else architect people from client side so if they have if they required any modifications this scrum manager will report to the team then the team will provide that required implementations on on per that day if they required any changes so this will happens on each scrum this will happens on each scrum so after completion of all these scrums we need to add them we need to add them to one project and that project we need to deliver to the client so this is what actually agile model so this agile model is the recommended model for building any kind of application any kind of software application you can apply this not only for software applications if you you can apply this one for any task to construct a building also you can apply this task okay but dependent tasks like before constructing wall if you try to construct something floor it is not possible right so you need to design your scrums on an independent manner dependencies we need to design first for dependencies independent independent things we need to design first before dependencies why because before constructing floor before constructing floor before constructing floor we required ground and some pillars without this if you try to construct a floor 
we can't actually we can't able to realize when we realize if you try to construct floor if you try to test then without pillar we can't able to keep it right so your task should be independent so which one we need to complete first ground we need to complete first the next this pillar and this pillar finally floor we need to complete so your tasks also should be independent if it is a dependent it need to wait until completing that dependent one 